Hello, group number five. Welcome to your pick a card reading on what is your first time going to be like with your future spouse. So let's get into it. Oh my gosh. They're going to be dominant. They're the dominant one. This card is called Dragon Guide. They're the ones that are going to take charge on target. They know what they're doing. Speak your truth. They opening. Oh gosh divine guidance so you and this person are meant to be together and archangel michael or um gentle release wow this person is dominant this person is um very much in charge um so for your first time they're gonna be the dominant one and it almost feels like this whole thing is just gonna open both of you up. Like, I feel like you two are very guarded in this situation because you have this Archangel Michael and this is all about setting healthy boundaries with people and letting go of people in situations that you, um, that really don't serve your highest good. So I feel like this person does not entertain the funny business. Um, you really need to be truthful when speaking to this person because they don't entertain the crap. They literally don't speak your truth, right? They don't entertain it. So just be honest with them. Um, now that goes for them as well, you know? But they are very much the dominant one in this scenario and they are on target, which means they know what they're doing. Now you have this divine guidance card and I feel like the universe is guiding you two to meet with each other, like you two are destined to be with each other, and it almost seems like marriage is very much possible, you know, and that's something else the on-target card could be representing, you know, that you two are on target with each other, like you two are meant to be for each other. Let's see, reflections. So you guys are going to do it, and this person's really going to reflect a lot on life, like, after you guys do it. They're just going to talk about themselves, and, you know, they're going to ask you a lot of questions about yourself, and, you know, your past, you know, there's going to be a lot of reflecting, you know, your past relationships, your parents, your, you know, your extended family, your jobs that you've worked, they're really going to want to get to know you, and they're going to do this after you guys do it, after they completely dominate you, and, you know, they're on target, they know what they're doing, um, you know, they have experience, um, they're really gonna, really gonna satisfy you in the bedroom. I want to draw another card, I don't know why, I didn't do it for the other readings, but I want to draw another card. They're like, draw a card. <laughs> wow, expansion. You guys are gonna grow as people. And that's why that opening card is there. You guys are really gonna open up. So your first time, they're gonna be the ones in charge. They're gonna, you know... I, I get the feeling that this is gonna be more traditional, right? They're not gonna take out toys and, you know, wanna try all these different positions. I feel like they're gonna be very straightforward. And, um, you are going to be more the submissive one. Um, there's gonna be a lot of reflecting after it's done. You know, you guys are gonna have some deep conversations. And you guys are gonna be speaking a lot of truth to each other. So, for group number five, you're... You know, your uh, first time with your spouse is going to be, you know, a little, little straight to the point. A little mellow, but that's okay. You guys are going to enjoy it. And, you know, you guys are blessed because you have Archangel Michael watching over you. And you have guidance from the divine. So, your first time is going to be a bit more on the traditional side, and you guys are going to be the submissive one, they are going to be the more dominant one, and they know what they're doing, they have experience. After it's done, there's going to be a lot of reflecting, you guys are going to talk a lot about your past, and, you know, relationships, and all that good stuff. So, 
that is your reading group number five. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.